everyone welcome to my channel today you as you know we are practicing solutions architect in cloudquest and today we are going to do content delivery networks i'm aiming to get the solutions architect batch from cloudquest and i have five uh five tasks to go and let's see what the problem is in here welcome to the offices of the city's best game development we are the creators of some of your favorite games we recently had some complaints about loading time of our new online gaming loading landing page we have tried to host the game content in several different areas around the world but the ho but the delay still occur any idea how can we fix this absolutely we want something called the content delivery network at avs we have a cdn service named amazon cloudfront that provides a global network of edge locations an edge location is where end user access avs services from points closer to them ge geographically these locations can serve as a cache for frequently accessed data and they provide incredible latency reduction. Does this mean this is still need to host all my data in multiple Amazon EC2 instances that are in close proximity to our customers? No, you don't. Your commonly requested data will sit at the AWS Edge locations and requested data will come from those locations directly. Using edge locations, customer experience becomes less of concern when you consider the geography of your services. Our servers wouldn't need to keep service the same videos, files and page notes for everyone. That sounds great. Is your website using dynamic backend scripts? Our service is currently using client-side scripts only. Great. I suggest that you consider using Amazon S3 to host your website instead. The, the website will be extremely fast and you don't need to worry about scaling to meet your customer demands. This sounds pretty ambitious. I will really appreciate if you can show me a demo of how to set this up. I don't want our service hindered migrating between technologies. The process is less com complicated than it sounds. Will you help I, our gamers become lag free? Let's accept this challenge and start and let's get our STN up and running. So this is how the architecture will look like and what we are going to do. We are going to set up a content delivery network using Amazon CloudFront. Configure an Amazon EC2 instance as the origin for the CloudFront distribution. Configure an Amazon S3 hosted website as the origin for a CloudFront distribu distribution. For a CloudFront distribution. And next in the device section. We are going to reconfigure a CloudFront distribution to use Amazon, an Amazon S3 website, S3 website as the origin, with index.html as the main page. So let's get started. I'm taking the AWS console out. Let's go to EC2 instance first. There is one instance running. Click on this one. Status is OK and I'm going to copy public IP DNS. Go to CloudFront now. Create a CloudFront distribution. Origin domain. Oh. Let's check if the site is working first. Okay, and now we are in the domain. We are going to pass the one that we have and then use HTTP only AP. Go down, create legacy cache settings and scroll down and create distribution. It's asking me to choose security option. Uh, I don't know if it's in instructions, but I'm going to uh, select this one. Do not enable security protection. This is showing um, if application does not need security protection from AWS buff. So let's select this one for now and create distribution. It is still showing deploying. Let me see. Um, it's a Okay, enabled status, click on this one and copy domain name. I'm going to type it here and see it's still not working. Okay, after waiting a little bit, now it's running. 
let's go back and go to S3. Under S3, we are going to select the bucket, bucket which is public. Go to properties and scroll down. Static website hosting. Click on this one and it's working. So now we need to reconfigure a CloudFront distribution to use an Amazon S3 website as the origin with index HTML as the main page. Uh, let's go to CloudFormation and see. CloudFormation. Sorry. Let's go to CloudFront. And here we can create another distribution. Origin domain is index, index HTML. It needs origin path optional. Let me go to S3 at the same time. That bucket. This is the website endpoint. Domain name, now it's not, is it working? Let's see. Do not secure, use security, create distribution. So when we check the cloud from distributions, this is the one still deploying. Distribution domain name shows this one. Um, index. Platform URL number needs to be index. Let's check. Um, from EC2, it needs to be So let's create origin and uh, distribution origin domain. Mm. Index HTML. Origin path. Let's go with the bucket. Copy here. This for this origin. Legacy cache. Do not sec enable security and create distribution. Distribution domain name. Okay, these are two my um, the ones that I wasn't able to create. Let's create another one. I have my S3 bucket open here. I'm going to go and copy a RAM number. Origin domain. Uh, domain. 
it asks for the main number let's check the pocket website endpoint objects package web bucket access point management metrics Static website hosting website endpoint. This is the one, and let's add that. Okay, name origin path, it's optional. Index HTML, HTML. Legacy create distribution. Distribution domain name. Okay, let's copy that go back I tried many times I'm not going to try again choose AVS origin or enter origin domain name let's copy that um, origin path enter URL path to a pan optional origin path Okay, after many tries, many, many tries, <laughs> I can show you how many times I tried. I have, I even have one in advance just to see if I'm going to make it right. Anyway, this one worked. So this one, again, I passed. Let me show the origins. Web packet and index came back. Um, and this was showing static website. I hope it becomes clear because I tried many times and it's also for me it was like trial 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 and failure and now it works okay I will see you in my next video bye you had a thin hair.